Hi, welcome to a new video. Now, <laughs> one day I plan to go up to Pennine uh, Folding Campus Factory. They're at Accrington, they're not very far from where I live. And I keep threatening to go up there and see them. And they said, you'd be most welcome, come and see us. And I keep saying, well, come in spring. And of course, spring, summer goes and the next thing you're back in winter again. Then I see them at the show and I say the same thing. But I am definitely going to get over and see them because I'd like to go and see the factory and how they're built because Pennine and Pennine Conway are very old names. And they're UK made, that's the thing, they're UK built. Um, and they're one of the last ones, um, uh, which is a shame. But they've got a real lo loyal following and they also do quite well. And they also appear at the uh, October and also the February show. So February 2024 um, at the NEC, you'll be able to go and see them on the stand of the brand new ones. But what I'm doing, I'm having a look at a used one. And um, because, don't forget, a lot of these will be in quite good order because people actually store these actually in the cover. I mean, they come with the cover anyway when you're in storage. Uh, when you store them, they put the cover to protect it all. But a lot of people will actually put these in the garages. Now, this is up at, let me have a look, sorry about this, uh, 11999 and it comes with some awnings, so this all at the back end here, you'll have more room to, to lounge around in. And what I like about a folding camper is that you've got a good solid base at the bottom here and you've got all this kitchen unit built in. Now this is, I'll have to have a look again actually, uh, is a 2018 model so we're talking six years old coming up for and in all fairness this is looking so far in pretty good order because I say at camp plans they don't tend to take anything in it if it's looking a bit ropey or it's going to need a lot of work doing to it. So what's it entail? Well this will sleep four people, two in each side here those fold out and they're easy to erect these are pretty quick to erect you've got your, your privacy curtains here and you've got your lounge area here in the middle now obviously you don't have a toilet in here but you can have a toilet tent if you're on a, a small site with a few facilities or like most people we'll just go and use the site facilities and showers why not so you've got the central lounge the kitchen at the back end here, or at the front end should I say, I'm getting mixed on myself. And you've got some storage beneath the seats and you've also got some storage lockers at the back end here as well with some main sockets and there's also a heater uh, actually as well fitted. So let's have a look around. Well first of all what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a look at this lounge area. Oh, and certain these seats. Now these seats have have been quite well used I'd say but they're still holding the comfort they're still quite comfortable to sit in um, so the four of you sat here with the uh, full, uh, freestanding table up be able to see the, have your meal kitchen's just here at hand and you've got your storage and some more worktop here on, on the side here with these glittery type worktop finishes this is the, I think this is called the Countryman, I'll, I'll, I'll put that on at the end of the video anyway, I should have got that shouldn't I, you can tell I don't know anything really about these, and I don't pretend to either, but I'm sort of looking if, you know, if you're looking at an alternative to a caravan or a camper van, and you want something again, you don't want to be lumbering a big caravan around, or you need to put it on, on your driveway, cheaper storage, uh, this again is a good alternative or as I say you may have a big caravan on a um, seasonal pitch but you still want to get away with weekends so instead of dragging the caravan away you can use one of these this as I say is at just short of 12k and you get quite a lot for it you've got the awnings which aren't up on it they're just at the back here they're put underneath so they're on the still shots and the intro on in this video now I say you've got storage drawers here you've got a cupboard there with also I'll just show you around there with a shelf in
And you've also got storage here underneath too on both sides. You've got quite a lot of floor area too as well. It just feels quite spacious. Um, I think these are great for a young family who, who probably do, don't want to go into caravanning much or can't afford to. But this could be what they're after. Let's have a look at the kitchen area because this is quite impressive. Now you get a full size kitchen here. You've got all this worktop and you've got a full size um, sink that you'd find in most tourists. I mean that sink unit I think I've remember seeing in a lot of eldest vans over the years. Of course that's a glass top and falls down so you've got an extra bit of work surface there. You've also got a four three burner gas hob and stroke grill. You've got storage beneath here and also you've got a domestic fridge there. place to put your knives and forks and also some more storage here as well I'll just turn that around a bit so you can see it a bit better there you go and again another socket here and I think that's a socket down there I'm not sure well, it's something to do with the the heater I think, I'm not sure of that. <clears throat> but, on the whole, this is quite good. I mean for £12,000, oh yes you can get a sick man car for that money. And, you know, I always endorse caravan, there's no doubt about it. But, for somebody who say, as I say, has got a caravan and they've got it on a seasonal pitch and they, but they don't want to do it their weekends away. This is so easy to store and also and to use. Better than a tent. Got some 12 volt sockets down there. There's your vents for your heater. And your battery little control panel there too. A little curtsy light at the bottom. Yeah. Okay, that's a quick sum. Summary. Right. <clears throat> Whew. Well, I think, again, this is different, isn't it? You know, for what we normally do. Um, as I say, this is obviously a used one. It's a 2018 model. There's a little bit of staining on, on the seat, I noticed just before. But generally, this is in really nice condition. And um, again, it's ideal for families and it's ideal for people who've got a small car. Um, and again, I'll put the weights, etc., on, on the end of this, uh, the end of this video. Um, but it's ideal in the fact is that it gives you quite a bit of room, it's compact when you're not using it, you can store it at home in 99 times out of 100 cases, and it's got basically what you need. Yes, you're probably not going to be using it in winter time, but if you're a buyer of this sort of leisure vehicle, you're going to be using it more in the summer anyway, and you're going to be using the site facilities. To me, this brings people to the fact is that they can maybe upgrade it and, and go for a caravan. Um, you know, uh, if they want something a bit different and, and, and maybe, you know, a bit more, dare we say it, luxury, they want to go around all year round um, and they've got the vehicle to tow it, they'll, they'll look great to a cavern. But for a lot of people, a folding camper is, is, is ideal. I've spoken to people in the past who've got one and they really wouldn't swap it for anything. They love the fact that it's dead easy to tow, it's dead easy to store and they don't have to have a great big car. And the kids love it. It's like having a tent, camping, but with extra bit of luxury. You, you're off the ground, you've got your cupboards, you've got your fridge, you've got your grill, you've got your burner hub there. You know, what come more can we say? So does it float your boat? Is this something you'd consider if you were in this market for something you wanted to get away, but you didn't want to spend a lot of money on a caravan, you couldn't store a caravan, you couldn't tow a big caravan, you want to start changing cars around? Is this something you could consider? Because you do see a lot of them on sites. And yes, the caravan and motorhome club do accept them. They never used to do, but they started accepting them, I think, in the 90s. And the Camden Caravan Club, of course, well, that's, that's a foregone conclusion. 
they, they'll welcome you um, in with open arms as, as normal and have done for many, many years. So, upshot is for 12k, you've got some freedom. And when it comes to selling it again, it's like Dominic was telling me here at Camp Lands, the, the guy who owns it, he said that a lot of these uh, units, sometimes you'll even possibly get what you paid and, you know, you won't lose very much at all. It just depends. Keep it in good condition and don't abuse it. And he said there's always be somebody who will sort of take it in as part of exchange or, or literally, you know, you'll sell it private. Um, and make sure that everything's, you know, it's dry when you take it all down, wipe it all down um, uh, after you've used it. So, yeah, for 12k, this could be it. And it's in good order. It's nice. And it's Pennine. Made at Accrington. And yes, I will be going to look at some of their new stock at some stage soon, hopefully. Anyway, I will leave you on this video. Um, and I hope you've liked all these different reviews we've done. Probably have not done them very well. Probably not. I don't know. But I'm just sort of going in as maybe you, the viewer, would also go in and, and look around. But Dominic here... Camplands here, and I'm, as I say, I'm, I'm not advertising for them. I've known them for 20 years. They are an impressive bunch, and they know what they're talking about. They're dedicated in selling these, and um, you know you won't find any tents here because this is what they do. They just sell these. Um, so from here, in a now very cloudy Withenshaw, I shall uh, bid you farewell. Please do like the videos. Please come and uh, please share them if need be. If you want to do and also don't forget uh, as well is to go down to the February 2024 show at the NEC um, a great show for seeing everything if you're undecided you're viewing this channel now and you're going oh I don't know whether to have a touring caravan or oh, I don't know whether to have a motor home or I don't know whether to even maybe go for a, a holiday caravan a static in, in the old-fashioned terms and you see one of these you'll well, actually I never thought about this. I don't want to spend a lot of money. Oh, I can't afford to spend a lot of money. That could be somewhere where we'll get the kids out at weekends and longer holidays. And this could be the ideal answer for us. And we'll use sites. I've got all the facilities. Simple, isn't it? I'll leave you and say good for, uh, a good farewell. Thank you for watching. And um, I'll see you on the next video, as I say. And, uh, yeah, tell me your... your uh, your comments as you normally do and it's great to hear from you all and thank you again very much for watching and subscribing to the channel i think we're now 4020 uh, subscribers and it's climbing so great on you uh, and again i'll give the books a, a plug for christmas look on online onto amazon put andrew jenkinson in the search uh, book caravan books most home books and all the books will come up and i think they've got a few offers on uh, Karen in the 1970s is selling particularly well. Anyway, this isn't an advert for the books. As I've said on another video, this is a review on a folding camper, uh, which is the Pennine. Um, I think it's the countryside, I can't remember which. I'm telling you, I've got a head like a sieve, haven't I? Anyway, I'm wrapping this video up before I make any blunders. Oh! Before I do, um, another thing, very, 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 very quickly is, you can actually fit a mover on, should you desire. Yes, they will take a normal mover like you put on a caravan. People do fit them on. Why not? If it makes the job easier, get them in and out of the drive, do it. That's what I say. Anyway, see you on the next video. And thanks again very much for watching. The Countryman. That's what it was. The Countryman. Yeah. Penine Countryman. <laughs>